Hello everybody, welcome to the first devlog for my Bullet Hell Boss Rush game, Curse of the Gem. This game is still in early development, but I wanted to share it with the world and get opinions early on, so I don't make any major mistakes. But enough rambling on, let's get to the video. So for the concept of the game is that it's a top-down bullet hell boss rush game. I plan to have 10 to 20 bosses with about an hour and 30 minutes of content. Right now I have no plans to charge money for this game, but we will see if that changes depending on how good it turns out. I don't really have the story fully planned out, but the basic concept at the moment is that Ob, who you play as for the majority of the game, is searching around in a cave and finds this red gem. But when he picks it up, he gets cursed. So the gem attaches itself to his body, and now there's this corruption stuff growing all around his body, and, and he needs to stop it. So the guardian of the gem, the golem, comes out to fight him. And that's where the game really starts. You get a bit of a tutorial and you encounter the golem in its first fight. Alright, so I'm just going to go over how I got to where I am with the project now, so let's get into it. I started with the absolute basics. The movement, attacks, flowing damage counters, and some screen shake to make the game a bit more satisfying. Next, I started work on the golem boss fight. It was pretty simple as it was just the hands moving up and down and shooting boulders, but it worked. Next, I made a Milano board and started planning out the rest of the boss, along with some other things. Next, I added a giant fireball, which follows your cursor and consumes any fireballs you shoot. After a few seconds though, it goes to the nearest hand and heals it. The amount is four times the size of the fireball. Once that was done, I started working on a phase two, where the head of the golem bounces around the screen and you have to dodge it. Alright, um, hello everybody. I decided I'd do a bit of a live commentary part for this because I uh, I did a lot of work and I forgot to record it all, so I thought I'd show you what state the game is in now and just finish up the dialogue, or the devlog, sorry. So we have this very simple home screen with placeholder music that I just grabbed from my Friday Funkin' mod, so... When you press begin, you get this very crisp and... Great image of the golem, you know? I uh, I do plan on replacing that with a more high quality image soon, but... We have an arrow which you will be able to use to toggle through bosses eventually. We have obviously just the golem. Defeat the golem and free yourself from the curse. Which has to do with the lore and all, so... I'll definitely do a video on story sometime in the future when I'm more sure about it all. So we have a we have a bit of a placeholder tutorial. I'm gonna probably change it up a bit, but let's go through it. Welcome to Curse of the Gem. Let's get started with a quick tutorial to get you used to the mechanics. Click anywhere to continue. The red bar in the top left is your health. Laying this drain all the way will bring you to the game over screen. And this is a uh, you have to press A W S and D and Shift to dash. Shoot fireballs with left click and spawn a wall of fire that runs up the screen with right click. And uh, do keep in mind that a lot of these sprites are placeholder and it's kind of mismatched and stuff. Now that you've learned the basics, it's time for your first boss fight. You'll be going up against the golem. Keep in mind that his hands are his weak spot. Once you've taken those out, go all in towards the head. You can figure out the rest. And here you go. We are now in the fight. We gotta hit his hands. So they've gone to a bit of a water phase. So if I if I touch the water, I become slowed and I have to dash before I can get out of it. 
and get back to my normal speed. It was actually an unintentional mechanic, but I thought it was pretty cool, so I kept it in. So what you gotta do is you just gotta take out the hands. They have water, fire, and just nothing special phases where you just shoot out boulders. Um, once you take out one of them, the golem's head will start moving and shooting boulders at you. Um, it's just a cool little extra. It doesn't do too much. You do have to be careful, though. I think it deals quite a bit of damage if you run into it. Alright, and now we're in the second phase. Now we've killed all his hands, he will just make a mad dash across the screen. Um, if he tries to go off screen, he'll just dash towards you, so that's something you should probably keep in mind while fighting him. Um, so this phase is pretty boring, to be honest. Uh, you do get a health restore if you were low on health on the first phase. But yeah, not a lot to talk about in this phase. Um, just to be clear, whenever it shoots those fireballs in the first phase and in this phase, um, when you when fire touches with it, it becomes bigger, and then it heals the boss or its hands if you're in the first phase, um, depending on its size. And there we go. Oh no, the golem escaped, but you cannot give up now. Rest up, hero. Your journey journey has now truly begun. There you go. Uh, cue the outro. Alrighty, everyone. Thank you so much for watching this first step vlog. Um, I hope you enjoyed it because I did have a lot of fun making it. And make sure you subscribe to keep up to date with the game and so you can uh, get it when it comes out. Bye, guys.